Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer. We're doing a series as we come up to Easter, looking at 15 reasons why Jesus died. Today we're going to see a reason number six, which is Jesus died that we may confidently approach God. Our key verse today is taken from Hebrews, it's chapter 10, it's verse 19. And it says, Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus. I wonder if you've ever been nervous about meeting someone for the first time or maybe someone you haven't met for quite a long time. There's lots of thoughts that run through our minds, such as whether they like us, whether they will still like us, whether we are dressed correctly, whether our sense of humour is right for them, whether we'll get along. And probably the value which we hold on to that person has a direct consequence, a direct influence on how nervous and worried we get. For example, when you walk into a supermarket, you're not generally nervous about speaking to the person at the checkout. It's just a simple transaction. But when you meet your boyfriend or girlfriend's or your fiancé's parents for the first time, that nervousness is very different to the nerves you feel when you meet a random stranger. Maybe if you've met a role model or somebody you've been a great fan of for a long time, or a queen or a president, probably the nerves are far greater than when you just meet somebody who's just another person in the street. How is it then that the writer of Hebrews says, let us fearlessly and confidently approach God's throne? But let's read the whole verse together of Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16. And I want to read from the Amplified Version. It says, let us fiercely and confidently and boldly come near to the throne of God, the throne of God's unmerited favour to us sinners, that we may receive mercy for our failures and find grace to help us in good times for every need, appropriate help, well-timed help, come in just when we need it. Notice some of the words here. Mercy, grace, love, unmerited favour and help. And it's because of this, Hebrews 10.19 also says that we may enter the most holy place by Jesus' blood. In the Old Testament, it was only the high priest who could enter the most holy place. And only once a year. And even he couldn't enter it without worrying and with confidence. Do you know he would tie a rope around himself and leave the rope outside so that should he die by God's holiness or the glory of God's holiness while in there, they would be able to pull his dead body out. The most holy place was a no-go zone. It was out of bounds for Jews. Even the other priests couldn't enter it. It was just the high priest and only once a year. For the Jews to think about going into the very presence of God was an unthinkable thought. They wouldn't be able to get into the head that they could enter confidently into God's presence. But the basis of our confidence isn't nothing about us. It's nothing about what we've done. We have nothing to bring. We can't approach God by our good works or by our merits or or because we are good enough. But we come, as our verse said, through the merit of Jesus' blood. And this truth should consequently affect our practice. The writer of Hebrews says then, let us draw near. The whole book is encouraging us to draw near to God, draw near to his presence, draw near in our relationship with him. Do you often draw near to God in prayer and through his word? It amazes me how often we give up this privilege, how often we forsake meeting with God for other things. It amazes me how many believers around the world only read scripture while in church, only sit in God's presence while in church, only pray when the crisis is in their life or the crisis in their family. We forsake this wonderful privilege that God has given us through Jesus Christ. Jesus has made a way for us to draw near to God and call him Father. And we should hold on to this privilege with confidence and daily, hourly, constantly be approaching our Heavenly Father. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you that we have this confidence to cry out to you, to pray to you. We have confidence that as we read your word, that we can listen to you speaking to us and directing our lives. Father, we again realize it's nothing about our merit, our goodness, but it's all because of the blood of Christ. Because Jesus died to make that way possible. In the Old Testament, we remember it was a once a year thing by the blood of the Lamb. But Father, we thank you that our lives have been washed in the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, that we are made holy, pure, forgiven, blameless in your sight, that we can now approach you as children, as sons, as daughters, that we can come to our Heavenly Father. Father, thank you for the confidence we have in Christ. In Jesus' name.
Amen. I'm really glad you could join me again today on day six of our 15 reasons why Jesus died. I love if you could join me in the next few days. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and it'll be sent automatically to you. Also, you can head over to my website at www.jtdyer.com. Sign up there and you will receive each day um, an email into your email account, including a video and the text of each devotion. Um, thank you so much. May God bless you today. In Jesus' name, amen.